to tell y'all what we got going on, we are underneath that thing. Whoa, what the hell is that? Big manta ray. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I mean, got him on. That's a real good one. A very recent addition to the Virginia Beach nearshore fishing opportunities is a wind farm that is being built. Right now there's only two windmills out there and there's a couple buoys. You can see this buoy right here that I'm casting at. There's a couple of those out there. This is a pretty new fishery and there's still a lot to be learned about it. So it's super, super interesting to me because we really have no idea what this could hold for the future. Supposedly at some point there will be 180 windmills out there I don't know if that'll ever happen, but as of now, there are two out there. I don't think construction on any others has begun. There's already some pretty cool fishing to be had out there. Pretty cool video, hope you enjoy. Well, not appearing to be any right off the bat. <clears throat> Whoa, what the hell is that? Big manta ray. Hey, you're gonna get snagged on him. You're gonna get snagged on him, reel it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah, 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 there's cobias on him. We don't even have a bucktail, though. There's two cobias. Get get that little bucktail. Oh, it's... It's right, it's right on the other side. Right? Here, let me get a live bait, too. Watch out, Nick. I gotta get in here. Yeah, he's got it. Uh, I need this rod. Is he still there? Do you see the manta ray? Yeah. You lost him? Oh no, he's right here. He's coming back. Just just hang out right where we are, Dad. You see him, Scott? That is a little bar jack of some sort. Alright, I'm dropping my live bait to him. The Kobe's are sitting on his back, Scott. There's all kinds of stuff. Wow. Damn, that was my opportunity. Wow. They won't really bite the live bait. He looked at you. Did he? Yeah, there's just like five or six on him, isn't it? Uh-oh, uh-oh, I mean, got him on. Came off, came off. Nice. Yep. We only have one bucktail because mine is at home. Uh-oh, uh oh. Something's messing with mine. Go if you just stop. Uh, not that thing. Where's he at? Um, right inside of that yellow. There's a ray on the right hand side. Yep, yep, I see him. Yep. Drop it deeper, let it go down to him. Alright, he, he turned away. Oh, oh, I got one. I'm gonna have to watch the buoy. He's going to the buoy. Scott, we need to wait. Yeah, he's going to the buoy. We need to go over there. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. That's okay. Oh, he's not very big. <clears throat> I got him. Let's uh let's just see if he's got any followers. No, nah, they're not really following him. Got him though. trying to go back to the uh, ray. <sighs> we came out here to not catch these though. <laughs>
what we got another small one yeah Nope. Yeah, you want me to? You got it. Take your time. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Caught a couple cobia, tried to catch some mahi, but the only ones we saw were really small and we couldn't get them to bite. So we headed over to see what was on the bottom on the windmills. We'll see how quick I get snagged. Oh yeah, I'm around something. Oh, I got a fish. I bet I got me a bass. Oh yeah. Big Nick. That one might have been legal, but I'm gonna try to fish with confidence. Is that a bite or was it bottom? I was off the bottom there. I'm getting them as soon as it gets down. That's a nice one. Oh, you Dad, you, I'm got like a three ounce bait on here. That's a good one. I mean, he's not very nice, but he's all right. Nice bass. Yeah. I'm going home. And in typical Nolan Minor fashion, we are bleeding our sea bass. People like to make fun of me for that. I can, I can try to tie up for you and you can, what do you got? Wow, dad is on on the like half ounce jig. I think you got a bass too. Wow. Both the ones I've caught, I haven't even gotten to jig it. Power of Big Nick. Didn't I tell you you were going to learn about Big Nick today? <laughs> you got one or no? It's another decent one, I think. Uh, eh. Probably let that one go. Because I'm pretty sure that one would keep, but we'll let him go. Not very much. Should be like some. Let me see what you're tying on, Dad. It's not as long as it's not like the giant one. It's not the biggest one. Yeah, that that one right there you got should be perfect, dude. I think I was catching some like up high. Oh my gosh, dude! They get it on the way down. Like I had one hooked. Ooh, there we go. It's a good one. You know what I think I'm in? My jig just got really light. Okay. No, it just got on light. Oh yeah, not bad. Ha, yeah, they're they're pretty stacked. Or it's just one big one. Uh, not a horrible one. Or I've got somebody's rig in that. Oh. That's why it fell heavy on halfway up. <laughs> okay. I'll start pulling it up. You just you deal with your fish. Scott, you might want to keep her in new drive. Got a bunch of mussels. Well, there's life down there. What do you think? Go back. Yeah, if you want. I mean, it's. Actually, I'm gonna bleed this one and put it uh, in that yeah. salad. Yeah. Oh, it came off. As you can tell, there were plenty of sea bass out there. They were tucked into the down current side of these windmills. The current was really strong, but there was a really nice eddy. We were just kind of bumping the boat in and out of gear to hold in position where these fish were at. I'm going to try to keep it interesting because I know watching us drop over and over and over and catch a sea bass on every drop is going to get kind of boring. We did start to eventually try different techniques, different baits to see if we could sift through some of the smaller fish and get the big ones because there were a lot of 17, 18 inch sea bass out here and that's what we were trying to get. That's a good one. I got a nice one. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I got a pretty good one on, I think. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one there. It's probably 17. Excuse me, Nick. Yeah, I'm really surprised we haven't lost anything yet. There he is. Ah, oh, it's a small one, I think. There you go. A little more weight to him or no? Not really. I mean, yeah. When they have those head shakes like seven yeah. or eight seconds into the fight, you know it's a better one. I'm about, to, I'm about to throw one on this jig. Yeah, you should. I had him foul hooked, I think. And then it'd make it even more ironic that we got all these big. And literally throwing an artificial jig. With oh, yeah. That's a Hope that one stays. I don't think he's as big as the other one I got. Okay. He has hit the swim bladder threshold. I'd take two of those over like literally five. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm putting on the sea man, that's about nice. Yeah, dad got a nice one on the trout rod. What we got? A little more weight. There's a lot of sea bass down there. Yeah, this is like the most obvious spot, like super easy, and it's just dumb. Yeah. Hooked in the cheek. Might be chilling out a little bit. I got that one foul hooked. In the tail. It's not a bad one. Took the motor out. Yeah, he's like 13. Guess I'll let him go. My, my bait feels like it got caught up in my line. Oh gosh, there's, man, they're up high. I just hooked this one up like super high on that shelf. <laughs> Dude, I'm so confused right now. I think earlier I was jigging all those nice ones off the shelf. I'm not kidding. That's definitely what was happening earlier. That's a good one, isn't it? Feels like a better one. Every time I think they feel better, they're just a small dress. Alright, it might it might be live bait time. Oh geez. That was not small. No, I think it was a school of good ones. Because <laughs> I missed them a bunch of times. But nothing special. Oh, he's not even. They're definitely not locked on the bottom at all. This is, this is a 15-incher, I don't know. Excuse me, Nick. Oh, dude, they're so high up, holy cow. You do not have to be on bottom. Not at all. That was like 40 or 50, I'm getting some bites. So high up. I mean, I could almost see that one when I set the hook on him. Not bad. That's a real good one. Those guys break their necks. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh yeah, stay on there. Yeah, watch out. Oh, he might come off. Ah. <laughs> For sure. She's picking up. Yeah. I would have to be tempted to go back and fish I in really the bay. I don't care. I, yeah, literally, I'm fine. I and mean, we, we tore up the seat. Yeah. Like... I mean, I'm going to beat him up for a little bit first. Oh, heck yeah. 
But yeah, we may be able to fish the bridge or I don't it know. Doesn't, doesn't make a lot of sense. Here. That's a Are fish. He's foul hooked. Like in the tail or something. Not in the mouth, but it, it might be decent. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ease him up, but I don't know. Hooked in the belly. She do be picking up. The seas weren't too bad when we first got out there, but we were dealing with a two foot swell on a five second dominant period, which means they're pretty close together, a little closer than what we normally would go fishing in. We had to go into them on the way out, but we knew we were gonna be following the seas going back. We wanted to push out to the Triangle Rex, which are a few miles further from here, but it was starting to pick up enough that we realized probably would not be worth that because normally you're probably just gonna catch sea bass out there anyway, and we were crushing really nice ones. At this point, I ended up making a switch to try some live bait. We had a bunch of live croakers in spot with us for whatever we needed them for out there, and it ended up being a good way to catch some bigger sea bass. And then we ended up also running into some mahi on one of the buoys on our way out, so you'll see that too. Feels better. Not great, but better. I changed up my cadence a little for that one. Nah, he's not that good. Ooh, I wonder if I do the, the flop on the bottom thing. You ever done that? Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stay on there. Dude, I was laying it on the bottom and just making it flop while it, while it lays there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What you got? Smaller one? That's a bass fishing thing though, to take a flutter spoon and lay it on the bottom and just make it flop around. See how he's hooked underneath the chin? It's because he pinned it against the bottom. Let's see if I can get one on the bottom flop again. That was so cool. Yep. They're on the bottom flop. Top hook, you had to go to the squid. You stooped, stooped to that level. It happened. There he is. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. That's a, a better one. No, that's a good one. Another pretty good one. Let's see how long he is. 16, something like that. Those are the type of guys, man, I don't understand. Used to be, used to be, you come out here. And the I just like need to know what it was like when the people like that. They probably, like, I mean, they probably are they just out completely. Like five or six flounder and caught yeah. Them like Unless I just have two. I don't think he's huge. Oh, no, that's pretty nice. Oh, that's very nice. Ah. That's day, isn't it? I think I caught one like that's this on the great. jig earlier. Yeah, that's a real good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, we need to get some live croakers out there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Boy, that's a great, I mean, that's like. That's, that's a fat one. Did he get smaller? Yeah. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Snatched up the little rod. So we were doing pretty well just putting a live croaker on our bottom rigs. A lot of places, if you're dropping live baits like this, you need to be prepared for other species but really there's not much here besides sea bass and flounder. I did try dropping some down on more of a grouper rig with a three-way swivel and a long leader, and it really wasn't doing anything different. The sea bass are pretty stupid. We opted to just keep using a short dropper loop. Snatch you a keeper. Oh, 
Oh yeah, no, it's a big one. Is he tagged? Tag. I'm gonna lift. Ah. Wonder if it's worth anything. Hope so. That's a nice fish. 17, 18, somewhere in there. Pretty good one. Might have wised up to our live baits now. Not a great big one, it's a good one. Oh no, it's a pretty good one. To tell y'all what we got going on, we are underneath that thing, windmill. We got a lot of current and the sea bass are pretty much sitting in this eddy right behind the, uh, the windmill. There's a couple boats around here. Unfortunately, it's only room for about one boat, but we're gonna move here in a minute so these guys will be able to catch plenty. Nick is using a slow pitch jig with a single hook above it. He's been putting cut bait on it, live croakers on it. Doesn't really matter. Caught some on live bait, some on jigs. There's a lot of fish down there. We're just kind of playing around. A lot of them come on that, little lead jigs. And that guy right there put a lot of nice ones in the box. It's like a two and a half ounce, maybe a three ounce. Big Nick. We got plenty of live baits, so we've been dropping those down, catching a bunch. It's good times out here. That's a crime right there. <laughs> dropping a nice spot for a sea bass. On the jig. Uh-oh. Oh, I got a really nice one, I think. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm done on that one. Down the outer banks, that's the only thing I've really seen them spit up is those crabs. Another 17. It's a good one. Oh, oh, they're on me. They're on me. Pretty positive I just had a little mahi biting. I think he's still there. Yeah. I need to get a smaller bait rigged up. Is he off of it now? Somebody should try putting a light leader on another rod. We got plenty of other rods. They just all have 60 pound on them or 50 pound on them right now. I don't know, I guess we can wait. There he is. I think it's a jack. I don't think I haven't looked in the mouth. Goodness gracious. Okay, he came off. Make sure my hooks aren't bent. Oh, another one. Are they all over it? I wonder if the mahis are out in front of them, maybe. But I'm saying I wonder if the mahis are out in front where they usually get. Yep, yep, there they are. Got them. That's a nice one. There's a bunch, there's a bunch. Get rods. Oh, he's off. Oh, no, he's not. There's a bunch. 
But Scott, do not drive over there. Yes, they're, hey, they're with me. They're with me. Oh. I'm going to try to bring him in if I can. can <clears throat> nah. I'm going to try to flip him. Nah. He's going to come off. Don't know. Yep. I gotta try to swing him. Dang it! I can't freaking. There we go. Nice. That's not a bad fish. Y'all gonna put a 20 pound leader on with a jerk bait. Woohoo! Pelagics! The 20 pound is in my crate. It's a big spool of sunline. A little excitement. I don't see him now. I saw him for a second. Did you see him? But I mean, I, I truly think they, for the most part. Oh, there he is on me. He's on me. Just one though. We need to get some, uh, I'm gonna rig some more stuff because we might be able to get these ones to eat chum too. I was about to say, do you want me to put this yeah from what i saw when we were here last year when you motor over them like what those guys just did was that one just ate it yeah wow okay keep going i see my oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yep. the chunks i'm about to get one i'm about to get one might have to throw chunks at them keep chumming yep you have to all flash yeah keep chumming we're gonna have to go chunks yeah, oh yeah we do Oh yeah, look at all of them. Yeah, they love the chunks. Yeah. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm about we to. We might just have to put chunks. Oh, oh my yeah, God, look at I got one. Oh holy yeah. crap! Holy crap! <laughs> good, good work, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just. Dude, he just made such a mess of the entire boat. Me? No, this yeah. fish. See, they're jumping right there. I'm about to get one. They're on me. Some jacks there too. Some brown colored fish. You see them? Uh uh. Some mahi in there. Let me see a mahi. Dang, there he is. I'm going to put this out behind the boat on that Wahoo rig. So last year we were out there at the windmills and we were catching a bunch of mahi and then two monster Wahoo swam up to the boat. They were probably 60, 80 pound range. I don't know, maybe bigger. They were monsters. We didn't really have anything for them because I wasn't expecting to see them that day. And this time going out, I had a couple oversized kingfish rigs tied up uh, to try to put one of those little mahi out because I have a feeling that's probably what those Wahoo were eating. Water was not as pretty on this day and we hadn't seen any, but I knew they could be around. Yeah, I caught him on a sabiki rig one time. I think he might already died. Well, he's dead. I tried. Still haven't, still haven't run into it. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, I had one, I think. Might not have. Oh yeah, they're on me. Get ready, Dad. Oh, there he is. You're right on him, Dad. You get ready, Dad. Keep jigging, keep, keep jerking it. Throw all my fish, guys. There's a bunch. Wow. That's not a bad one. I'm going to be a minute. If you have fished for small mahi a lot, you've probably run into them when they're acting kind of funny. 
If you haven't, you may think that they're always just feeding 100 miles an hour, easy to catch. That's not the case. And I think especially at these windmills, they get fished for so much that they're pretty smart. They're pretty boat shy usually. And you saw we were throwing chunks of menhaden, fresh menhaden at them, and they were tons of them swimming around eating it at first. You could throw one out there with a hook on it. They would not eat it. And then it got to the point where we were throwing handfuls of cut bait into the school of them, and they were not eating it. They were just watching it drift away. So if that tells you anything about what we were working with, the only way that you could really catch these fish was with a jerk bait. And there were, I mean, there was a school of probably a hundred of them and I caught four and I was the only one on the boat that was able to catch any. We caught a lot more the year previous when we were doing this using the jerk baits. And usually that's kind of a last resort bait when small mahi are being difficult. But we decided to go ahead and head towards the bay because these are just small fish and it really was not worth our time to continue trying to catch them when the bite was so challenging. Decided it was time to go look for something else. Uh oh, I'm coming up to him. You got him, Dad? Oh, <laughs> something little. I got one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he came off. Mine wasn't small. That's too good little no, goal. That's a, that's a good one, I think. That's probably a keeper. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely gonna be a keeper. Heck yeah, I'm gonna check him though. That other one I had was felt definitely felt bigger. Yeah, he's like 18 inches. Heck yeah. Good fish. I'm pumped good on that, dude. Hi, uh, hey, I'm stuck. I just wanted to. Yeah, I'm stuck. On your like, on the stinger. On the stinger. On the yeah, Yo, I have a fish. Scott, slow down. I have a fish now. I might have a fish and a rock. I have a fish and a rock. Yeah, I have a fish on the stinger <laughs> and then the bucktail is snagged. You would think he would swim it out. That's a bummer. Feeling pretty stuck. Oh, we're out, we're out, we're out. It's a nice fish too. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It might just be an oyster toad. We're gonna see. It's either a flounder or a toad. I don't know, it's staying down like a flatty. But he hasn't given me the the might, flatty shape. Might not know it yet. How strange. There's such. I think fish. it's a toadfish. Oh, you think oyster cracker? That's. I have to. <laughs> That's impressive. Your bait just stayed in the same spot for too long. <laughs> It's not, not what we're here for. <laughs> Got him? Yeah, I saw. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yep, yep. I just had to get my. Still a little bit away. Don't even feel it, dude. But it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want me to net him? Yeah. Nah, he's, well, he's, he's short, I think. Shoot, I don't know, maybe I can't judge him. 
My bad. If, if that's a keeper, that's. I don't know. I saw he's hooking good. Hey, dad's dad's on too. Size? I don't think it's. I don't think it's size. Ah! Uh, no, that might. Shoot, that's a keeper. That one's bigger than yours, I think. Hell yeah. Nice laddie. I like seeing this. That's it for this one. We ran into a pretty big bluefish blitz right there at the end, but that's going to have to wait for another video. It's too much footage to put all into one. We caught those three cobia, kept around 30 nice sea bass, caught a bunch more. Those four little mahis, and then we came back in and got those three nice flounder to wrap the day up. Hope you enjoyed.